brother walking the line, he keeps tight. Look to the left and the right, it's a mite. I don't waste time with the mediocre below average when I get the king in sight. I don't waste time with the mediocre below average when I get the king in sight. What is going on, great people? Welcome back to another episode of Snap Political. So glad you're here. Guys, happy day. Hope you are being on purpose, in purpose, destined for the multi purpose. Let's go. Okay, great people, you know what to do over here. We like to keep it real, speak truth, have you think out of the box to make informed decisions for yourself and also highlight important things that we need to know and also commend those that are making strides in their lives. And I really absolutely loved Snooped for a very long time, meaning I just, you know, admired him as an artist, his music and as well as, you know, things that he's done over his lifetime being an entrepreneur. Uh, his recent political views, however, was something that, you know, I, I didn't agree on at all. And, and Sibo and I did a video about that. However, that still doesn't, you know, erase the fact of he's made a lot of um, gains um, in, in music. And when he says that he is no longer smoking, that is a huge, 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 I think it's worth, you know, you know, discussion worthy. Some, that's, that's like a huge milestone. You know, he, we've known him for that specifically. You know, he was known for, that's been part of his brand, smoking chronic. We, we know that he smoked a lot of weed and he had shops and, you know, all types of stuff. So I know for this decision to be made, something came down the pipeline that was humongous. And I feel like, you know, let's shout him out and, and commend him and encourage him to continue to do what's best for him. Let's encourage him to do what's best for him and his body and his mind and everything else. Let's chop it up. Snoop Dogg reveals the reason for quitting smoking and I really wanted to know that myself. Popular American rapper Snoop Dogg has broken the internet once again and this might just be the biggest plot twist of the century because fans are still shocked at the news. Here's a quick question, when you think of Snoop Dogg, what's the first thing that comes to your mind other than his music? Smoking, Matthew right? The rapper has made smoking a major part of his identity as a rapper for yeah. as long as anyone can remember. Right. But Snoop, why do you like cannabis so much like what is it nah um well for, for one i enjoy it for medical reasons trouble sleeping <laughs> and um i mean it's just it's a it's, it's a peace it's a peace situation with me every time that i've always been around it i've seen beautiful things happen but now that seems to be changing in a recent turn of events snoop announced that he will be quitting smoking yes that's right he posted a picture to his Instagram to announce the news that he was going to stop smoking. He didn't exactly mention if he was referring to weed or just normal cigarettes or both. The rapper also said that he came to the conclusion of stopping this habit after having extensive conversations about the topic with his close loved ones. Now fans don't exactly know how to feel about this whole thing. Except he also it. mentioned how he started smoking up so much in his youth because it made him feel like himself. So now that must be even more intense considering the fact that he has made smoking such a huge part of his identity. Some fans still think that he's just pranking his followers with this news like he usually does, while not. others think that he might be serious about the whole thing. You're watching the celebrity buzz, and in today's video we will be talking about how Snoop Dogg recently revealed the real reason for quitting smoking. But before we get to talking about that, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and smash that subscribe button for more videos like Shout this out to one the in the future. Buzz. The rapper's name is synonymous with smoking. It we is. We mean, he played a major role in getting weed legalized. Not to mention the fact that he's associated in business with a bunch of companies that deal in such things. And I mentioned that. And I was gonna say, you know, for medicinal reasons, it is amazing. It really is. I must say, smoking, I have stopped so long ago. I, I did so long ago, many years ago. And being an artist, you think that you need it for creativity. Um, and he tells you why he felt like he wanted it. He needed it. And it puts you in a cool, calm, collected place. But it depends on the strands. So there are also side effects, depression, anxiety, paranoia. Yes. Um, eating hungry. You're real hungry. But 
I'm definitely going to say this is such a power move and I hope it's not a prank. I really don't. And it's, it, it's a long time, you know, coming for him. If this is something that he's going to do his life is just going to continue to get better and better. We have to accept people and their changes. We don't own people. We don't control people. We should have no power over their decision making because they're human and they have their own life. We have been privileged to be a part of the life because of what they shared and how they've been in the industry that they're in. But they let us in, great people. We have no say. Say how you feel. And of course, people that, you know, still smoke weed or smoke weed, you know, may feel a way about it. But it's okay. Your lungs is what you need to be worried about. Okay. The thing about this today is pot, marijuana has been in so much in the news the last couple of years and it's becoming legalized. For, for as long as I can remember, you have been the ambassador to pot. So it was a huge news from his side, one that fans are still having a hard time believing. The rapper took to Instagram on Thursday, 16th November, and announced to his fans that he was going to quit smoking. He shared a picture of himself with prayer That's hands creepy. and said that he had decided to stop smoking. Now he didn't specify if he meant smoking weed, hash, or just plain cigarettes, so maybe he meant that he was going to quit all of those. Snoop added that he came to this decision after quote unquote much consideration and conversation with his family. He shared the same statement to his account on X, formerly known as Twitter. At the end of the statement he urged his fans to please respect his privacy in these times, and he closed off his statement with his signature. As soon as the statement was shared to his social media accounts, fans crazy. lost their minds and yes, started going crazy, crazy over the news. I know they Most did. of us thought that the guy was probably just pranking us. But then many fans pointed out how he posted his statement in a very serious tone, mm -hmm. so it was unlikely for it to be a casual joke. A lot of news outlets tried reaching out to him and his representative, but both of them have not gotten back to anyone yet about the, the man issue. Said, Respect the reason privacy. we are all in disbelief at this news is because of the things he has said over the course of his hip-hop career. Back in 2020, he claimed that weed was the major thing that saved not only the hip-hop genre, but also the artists that made the music. In his interview with High Times, he said that weed was one of the most important elements in hip-hop. But hold on, before you make your... That's because they don't know Jesus, and that's just being real. You know, when you think you need something else based off of a gift that God has given you or allow a talent that you've tapped into and become very well in... You think you need something else to highlight it, but you don't. You need God and Christ. That is it. And you do the work. You do the work. No one can can take a talent or a gift away from you that God has given you. No one can do that. You have to expand, grow, and put yourself out there in a way that, you know, it, that's pleasing to him. I have truly been there. I definitely can say that for myself. I definitely can say that for myself. And I just want to highlight, you know, the medicinal reasons for using it is, you know, it's a long list. It's a long list. Cancer patients are able to use this as a form of pain relief, as a form of being able to cope with the radiation, you know, in the healing process. I understand completely. I really, really do. But let the man heal and move forward in a positive way. Come on. I love this Snoop judgments, hear him out on this because he actually made a lot of sense. The rapper added that before weed got popularized in hip-hop culture, all the artists were doing cocaine. Mm. He mentioned how we all should be thankful that, that we I replaced cocaine in the industry. He then said that when you look at all the people who were coke addicts back then in the industry, they're all broke and miserable now. Mm. You can see what that did to the industry, he added. The icon continued saying that if artists in the music industry were doing cocaine instead of weed, the industry would have been a very different place and mm. not in a good way. Okay. He then listed all the reasons why weed is better than cocaine, saying that it makes you aware of yourself and your surroundings. Hmm. He went as far as saying that smoking weed spreads peace in the world. When a nigga get high, he low key chilling. I don't see no fighting. You could put a thousand motherfuckers in one room that don't like each other. Put some weed in there, them niggas gonna be taking selfies and doing all kind of cool shit. The rapper concluded his statement saying that the reason he knows cocaine is evil and weed is good is because he used to sell cocaine. So he's seen what it does to people. Because I wouldn't allow the industry to make me like other things. You know, when you're in the industry of Hollywood, they offer you other things. 
Mm -hmm. Things that are addictive, things that could kill you, things that could harm you, things that could jeopardize your future. Right. And I maintain because I had certain family members that did other things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I sold other things. So I knew the effects of it. Now you've heard how he has always talked about weed. This is why this whole thing seems very hard to believe. Snoop Dogg, an advocate for weed, giving up smoking. Now that's one statement we never thought we'd hear, <laughs> right? And then to think that this is the same guy who has claimed to be hooked on over 80 blunts a day at a time, it Ooh. just seems crazier. We <laughs> that the was people a lot. in the industry know how much of a cush Ooh, enthusiast a Snoop lot. is. From 50 Cent to Ed Sheeran, everyone in Hollywood has fond memories with Snoop, and all of these memories come with loads of weed. You know, I, you can't get them to stop smoking weed. I, yes, I've I, went, I went to the that. trailer. I was like, yo, just, can you chill? Just can you chill? He was like, get out of here, man. <laughs> so, now he's going, no, it's, it's legal, Fit. It's legal. You. <laughs> it's legal. Like, I, I got my, like, his lines, everything was, he was ready, Jim. He, he was really conflicted with me asking him not to smoke weed. Oh, I'm sure he was puzzled by that. <laughs> I mean, he's like, why you want to mess up my day? <laughs> now, as much as this news is wow. shocking, it isn't something he hasn't mentioned before. He has been hinting at quitting for a very long time. You proclaimed rather proudly that you had uh, kicked pot, marijuana. You had stopped completely. How's that going for you? It kicked me back. But wait, before we continue on with the video, do us a favor and share this video with a friend who might enjoy our content. Even as recently as back in March of this year, Snoop Dogg said that he was going to cut down on his weed consumption. Even in an interview with the Daily Mail, the rapper mentioned how he was taking steps to drastically reduce his intake of THC. He has also once mentioned the actual reason why he decided to make this huge change in his life. He said that after he became a grandfather, he felt a major shift in his personality mm. in more ways than one. What you just took, grandson? Let me Why see. Bear? Let me see. What's in your back I'm pocket? Not any bear you are. What did you just take from C? Well, you I took some money. That's good. Go. I ain't mad at you. Money too tight to mention. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> I understand. Have one $100 bill. No, that ain't all the money I got. Famous people are rich. You rich. No, I'm not. He then talked about wow. all of the so things cute. he's more conscious that, of now that, that he That's has good. a grandchild. The rapper said that he was more careful about the way he lived and how healthy he was, along mm. with things like the kind of people Makes he hung sense. out with and was associated with. Makes sense. He said that the main reason behind this was that he wanted to see his grandchildren grow old in front of him. That's right. He wanted to be there for their special days and happy moments. I love it. He then added that the only way he can make sure all of these dreams of his actually come true was if he took the precautions to make them happen. That's and right. And one of those precautions was to lead a healthier life, Amen. which included cutting down on his smoking. He concluded by saying, I just don't want to do this to my body anymore. Amen. I want to survive. The Instagram post came as a major shock to all of his fans who are just like the way Snoop used to be. So they all oh, went well. straight into disbelief, thinking that he was just joking oh, with them. Well. One of the fans commented saying, today is an April Fool's Day Snoop while others thought that his account was just hacked because none of us could believe that Snoop would actually post something like that. Get over while it, a lot people. of fans joked about the situation, some of his fans were really supportive of his decision Let's and go. thought that he was doing the right thing by cutting back or quitting altogether. Which side are you on? Let us know in the comment section below. And that was all. All right, great people. And that's what it's all about. Life is about growth and change. You cannot continue to still be the same part. Well, you actually, you can. Let me say, let me take that back. Yes, you can. You can stay the same person you were from 50 years ago, but that means you are not alive because as we continue to live every day, we should be growing and getting better and better. And I'm so glad that he came to that realization because over a long, a long periods of time, it's going to be a deleterious effect on your body, your throat, your lungs, regardless of what you say, your heart yes it is and good thing that he decided you know it's time for me to make a change and it's that simple we all can do that no matter what the situation is no matter what the issue is some of us may need to go and seek um professional help you may need to go and see a counselor a therapist you may want to go and seek um drug rehab so many other opportunities or so many other options out there for you to get well you don't have to do it by yourself friends and family support groups i mean social media there's connections 
with other people that can sh that share similar experiences or have had the experience that you're going through, it's no reason why you can't change for the better today. So shout out to Snoop for making that change, for that real realization and him wanting to live as long as he can to see his grandkids grow up. Such a wonderful, 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 wonderful thing and a great reason to stop. And I'm all, I'm all for it. Y'all already know over here, it's about growth, positivity and change and doing better things for yourself, making those decisions that impact your household specifically. And it should be for the better. That's what it's about, great people. Okay, let's get in this comment section. All my Snoop Dogg fans, supporters of his music. You may not support his political views because I don't agree unless he's changed them. But as a person and how he's been moving, I'm happy for him. I really am. All right, great people. I'll see you in the comment section on the next video. Stay positive. Stay focused. Keep pursuing your dreams. And I appreciate your support. Love you guys.